apparently this is what passes for British summertime. Um, we felt quite foolish actually coming out. There's a lot of chatter on the Fishing Club website yesterday about people looking at the gauge levels. Um, they're releasing water from the reservoir. It's very cold, it's raining, and the, the water levels are up, but without there being that kind of warmth and insect activity to go with it. So basically, pretty poor prospects really. Um, but we decided to give it a go because one of the things we wanted to do was to try and say, well, okay, let's try and steal some of those competition style tactics, the advantages that competitors have, bring it into our own pleasure fishing and see if we could rescue a day uh, or at least a short session. Um, this is the first spot we dropped in at. Uh, again, not looking sparkling, not a huge amount of activity in terms of insects. So we thought we'd treat it almost like, you know, an early spring or a cold winter's day rather than summer. Using things like ceramic nymphs so that we not have a huge profile but we've got some streamlined concentrated weight to get down. I talk about that quite a lot in the Fly Fishing Bible of Nymphing. The concepts behind the flies as well as the techniques, really it's about being able to kind of mold those tactics to the conditions that you find regardless of what the calendar says should be happening on stream. So essentially making a mixture of short line nymphing tactics and then extending out a little bit uh, into the more classic, you know, traditional French leader type fishing, albeit with slightly heavier nymphs than we'd maybe normally use for that original purpose. But sort of blending those tactics so that it's not sitting in one box or another, uh, it's actually designing custom techniques on the fly so that it fits the actual set of conditions that you find. So you need to know all the different tactics. You need to know the, the pots that you're drawing from, but the final mix that you put together can be very much a blend of those different techniques. And we certainly saw that today. I mean, because fish, you know, we saw one or two well, I'm going to say one fish splash when we were just walking along the path. So I knew there was a chance that there'd be some fish looking upwards a little bit. So I didn't want to go with a really bright indicator today. So I went with um, quite a drab or more stealth sort of uh, black and white sighter. And there were some definite instances where using the right manipulation technique of the fly rather than just the dead drift helps as well. But all in all, from what was an unpromising start and very, very unpromising on paper and looking at the water level gauges, turned into a great, you know, we dropped in, the first spot we dropped in at, had a bunch of fish, all wild ones, beautiful examples of spring and summertime wild trout, taking on imitations of what's around at the moment. And there's a degree in satisfaction in cheating the odds, I think. We've managed to pull that one off today. So if you want to dig into the flies, the leaders, the techniques uh, and the mindset about how to blend these things together, that is really what the Fly Fishing Bible of Nymphin is, is all about. Um, you can pick up a copy on Amazon or you can get signed ones direct from us if you want to incorporate this in your own fishing and maybe rescue an unpromising day that you find yourself faced with on the river sometime.